Hello Virgo, thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Animal Wisdom Tarot by Don Brunk, illustrated by Ola Leola. Uh, there are, there is a website, cicobooks.com, if you're interested, of course. Uh, supportive Oracle Cards, where are you? Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. There's Sandra's name if you need to see how it's spelled. I didn't see a website on the outside. I could swear she had one, though. It's a Hay House product. If you search out her full name with the deck, though, I'm pretty confident you'll find it without a problem. Like, at least you'll find Hay House. I don't know if she has a website. I keep thinking she does, but I, I think she does. I don't know. Whew. Sometimes I go searching out websites because, you know, I want to. <laughs> I want to. But I didn't end that one recently. Oh, what's that? I don't know. Okay, well, something's trying to creep forward. I don't know if we like it or not, but I'll throw it over there. If it comes out, it comes out. That's it? Well, we got other cards here. Um, the energy is very interesting on your side. You know what you know. You want what you want. I've done my part. I keep getting, I've done my part. I'm not letting you screw me out of what I've been working for. I keep getting that energy. I've done my part. I've held up my side. We had an agreement. I did what I was supposed to do. I should get what I put in for. Like, there's something about that coming in. Um, somebody's holding something back. I'm trying to, like, get a better handle of this. I'm not going to give up. I get your your side like I think people underestimate Virgo. There's a couple signs that seem to get underestimated more often than not. I don't know about how often you guys get underestimated, but like when you're on a when you're going somewhere, I feel like sometimes people get a little shocked because you're like, "No, no, no, no. I'm not going to let you just railroad me or steamroll me on this. I've been working towards this. I did what I was supposed to do. You can't just, you know, screw me over." And sometimes people get a little shocked when Virgo stands up and says, no, I put too much into this. No, I've been, and I have a lot more I want to come of this. I need that to move forward and you can't screw me out of it. And Virgo gets very upset if you really like, especially if you've been working on something for a while and people try to snatch it out from under you. No, no, no. Um, because there's this energy of somebody, I feel like I'm getting the monkey energy. It's very peculiar with the, with the earth two of pentacles and this five of swords, I feel like somebody's trying to take something from you that you've been working on. And that five of swords is like, they don't need to. I don't see, like, I don't understand why they're doing it. And that might connect into more like your energy, kind of like you're seeing somebody try to snake something out from under you, steal it from you, whatever. And you're like, why are they even like, it's like, why? Like, you don't even need it. And I've been working towards it. Don't, something, it's going to get really under your skin. I feel like it's going to tick you off, quite frankly. <laughs> kind of like, I don't understand why you're even doing that. And that's mine, by the way. Um, the stork coming in. That's the ace of swords, yeah? Yeah. You're not going to let somebody take your bounty. Because I, I, this this card uh, that's face down, it's kind of like, you have a lot planned that people don't know. To them, it's minimal. Like, oh, it's, it's nothing, Virgo. Just let me have it and shut up. And you're like, oh, no. No, that's mine, and I have plans for it. Give me it. Um, I, somebody's rude to you. Like, really, really? Oh, Virgo, you don't even really need it. Just shut up and let me have it. No, it's mine. I wanted it. I was working towards it. Give it to me. Um... They don't realize that you have other plans for this thing. To them, it's very minimal. You're like, no, well, I don't have to tell you my plans. That's mine, though, and I've been working towards it. Give me it. You're not gonna. You're not gonna let people. This is. You're not gonna put up with it. People might expect that you're just gonna like roll over and take it, but you're not. You're just not. Um, it's really like I'm feeling that energy come in. Like, oh, I'm not putting up with it. <laughs> um, There's more kind of rotating in, and I'm trying to... You have backup, too. Because I feel like if, if this person is really, like, becoming a challenge for you, 
this is going to be one of those times where you call in other people to help you. Kind of like, listen, I want that. That is mine. I've been working towards it. And this person's blocking me from it. I need some help. Like, I feel like you might call in your resources on this because it's kind of like you have plans for this and it's making you mad. I think it's making you, well, okay. This is on your side. I don't think it's, no, you're standing up for yourself. This is one of the times where this card comes in, especially where you're like, no, that's mine. I've been working on it. You're not going to snatch it from me. I'm not going to allow this. You're not going to do this to me. I'm not going to allow it. Um, and they don't even really need it. Like, I feel like they're trying to manipulate you. I think they're trying to condition you. You need to stand up for yourself. For some of you, I feel like this might come forward where you're like, you want to stand up for yourself and you're kind of debating whether you will or not. You need to stand up for yourself. Somebody's trying to condition you. Somebody's trying to train you to give in to them. This is bad. Do not give in to this. Do not give in to this. Because I feel like the bull is coming in like, if you accept this and you let this person railroad you, that cornucopia is going to get stolen from you. You're going to have a lot more taken from you. So that might be for some of you. They're saying, listen, if you're going to let this happen or you're thinking about letting this happen or you're, stand, you're sitting back and you're debating if you really want to step up and say, no, you can't have my stuff, you need to because this person is conditioning you to take your stuff. You need to pull forward. If you have to pull in favors from other people, pull in favors from other people. You can't let this happen. Um... Because I'm, I, I keep connecting to this Five of Swords and it finally came in like what? They don't need what they're actually taking from you. They're just trying to see how far they can push you and how much they can actually take from you. They know you want it. They know you want it. But they want to see if they can pull it out from under you. They want to see how easy they can take it. They just want to see if they can do it. And if they can do it this time, it's just the first of many. Or it's going to get worse. That's, it may not be the first, but it, it's going to get worse. You need to step up and s shut this person down. Especially if this is a work situation. I know that that's hard sometimes. And it's kind of like, well, I don't want to be looked at as the bad guy, but you're going to be the one who gets screwed over. Painfully. Painfully screwed over later. No. we gotta, we got to stop this. They're... Okay, I, I, their energy, we don't, I don't care about their energy. I care about your energy, you're the one I'm reading for. They have issues. Their issues are their problem. Um, somebody who's been victimized does not have the right to create more victims. I hope I'm saying that right. Like, just because somebody was victimized, that doesn't mean they can take out that toxic behavior on somebody else and make somebody else a victim. You know what I mean? We, we're not looking to make victims bigger victims. I, I give you that because I feel like there's some type of dynamic here. But victims do not have the right to create new victims or victimize other people. It's that, no, no, we don't allow that either. Because um, there's something with this dynamic that makes it a little, you know what I mean? We, there's a thing with that. There's a dynamic because I know that there's something about, you know, people who are victimized go left or right usually. I'm not going to pretend like I'm a psychologist, I know. But they typically either become victimizers or they keep becoming more and more of a victim. Um, we can't let a victim become a victimizer. It's just they have to get back into a healthy place. By you letting, letting this person do this to you is not helpful to anybody. Least of all you. Because I feel something coming forward with this. And this person might be playing the sad song. We're not, we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to, you don't, just because somebody else screwed them over doesn't mean they get to screw over, the, screw over other people. It's no, no. Um, so we can't let that sad song play. I'm sorry. Now, I'm sorry that that happened to this person if that's the dynamic. But there's other things they can do to balance that out. Screwing over somebody else, screwing over the Virgo, does not, that does not balance their situation. And it's just like, it, it, no, that does not, that makes no sense. I'm not going to even play like it does. No. Um, yeah, because this is face down. They're, uh, somebody's playing the sad song. And they might get people backing them off, backing up backing them up kind of like, you know, oh, Virgo, but this person always gets the short end of the stick. Just let them have it. No, no, that is not right. That is not how you balance that. Victims deserve help. Victims deserve to get, you know, things to correct for them, to things to go back to a healthy place for them. 
they do not get the right to create new victims. I don't know why we're so on the soapbox about that, but yes, we want them to have help. Yes, we want things to get better for them. Definitely. I feel like that's obvious. But we can't create a schism where they just become, instead of creating a healthy place, they just create new victims. That's worse. That's not good. That's not good. Um... Because I feel like there's a lot of, like, sympathy around them. Why is this card feeling like that? This is the Knight of Cups. There's a lot of sympathy around them. All right, we'll look at this thing. No, no, somebody's out of balance with it. The the cow reversed. Somebody might try to play the sad song for them and help. No, 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 no. This is not good. This is not going to help them. That will not pull them out of the victim energy. It does not. I think that's why I'm think I'm the energy is getting really ramped up with that. Victims creating new victims does not heal that victim. It will not heal them. It will not make their life better. It will not pull them out of that bad pattern. That will not make it better for them. It won't. So justifying that because they've had a hard time letting them get away with this, that does not heal that. That does not stop that. That does not make anything better. It creates new victims. No. This is not going to help this. This is not going to heal this. Somebody else might think that that will, though. It's not. It won't. Um, I'm, like, all on the soapbox about it. Because um, I feel like I understand it. I understand that mentality, kind of like, oh, they've had it hard. They've had it rough. So can't they at least have something? This isn't This isn't working. They're, no. This is creating... This is creating a victim... Victimizer. This is turning a victim into a victimizer that might send them on that road. This is not good. This is not good. Um, yep. There's people around you who will stand with you. Just all you have to worry about is standing up for yourself and not letting this get taken from you. People will, Other people will balance it. Let other people balance it. And you might even want to put that out. Like, listen, I'm not looking to screw anybody over. I just want what's fairly mine. And that's what this is. I just want what's fairly mine. I don't want bad to happen to them, but I'm sorry, and I'm sorry that that happened, but that does not give them right to take from me. I'm sorry that happened to them, and they need help for that, and I wish them the best, and I'm not qualified to do that. They need to get the help properly. That does not give them right to screw me over. I'm sorry. I, I just want what's fairly mine, and I wish them the best, and then walk away from it. Disconnect. Disconnect. I'm getting this with the eight of wands. That's sometimes quickness or movement. I'm getting like quickly move away. Quickly move away. No no harm, no foul. This energy is not in a place where it will be healthy for you. This is not, no. In case you're wondering, there's two other, <laughs> I think this is the world. I think the whale is the world. I could be wrong. And the rooster, these two cards are saying you need to exit. Keep what's yours, claim what's yours, make sure you get what's fairly yours, because I know you're not going to screw anybody over. You just want what you've been working for, what's rightfully yours, that's all you want, that's fair. Get what's yours, and then quickly go, just walk away. Do not stay connected with this. This is not your situation to fix. Now, this card's upside down, but it is. Whoever this person is, it's on them what they do. You, it's not for you to convince this other person too that you know, letting this person get away with this is the right is you know not going to help or heal anything. You can say your point, say it once, and walk away. This person, whoever this is, somebody like feels bad for them, but it's not right. Like they're not helping this person. They might think they are, but they're not. Just disconnect from them too. That's. I just don't feel like this is your thing to fix. Give your two cents if you need to, if you want to, you don't have to, and then walk away. Let them think about it in their own time. Um, especially because that card's upside down, and this is a general read. Exactly how bad that is, I have no idea. This reminds me of a very caring mother who does very, who lets their kids get away with murder and blames everybody else but their actual kid for doing things wrong. It's kind of like they're very caring, very loving, but it's in a very toxic way. Like, they let their kids get away with everything, and then they blame everybody else but their kids when things go wrong. Like, you know what I mean? This is upside down. That's how this card feels to me. It's a very toxic behavior. They, have a, they very much care, 
but it's going in a very bad direction and it's not helpful. So let that solve itself. You can't, you're not going to have the ability to fix it anyway. I feel like for the people this is going to hit with, you're going to be like, yeah, don't worry. And you're just going to walk away. So I'm going to let it go. <laughs> um, are we good? I think we're good. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. The email is also down there too. Um, thank you for watching and have a great day.